Oh, but it's right in front of me. Oh, there's another one right there. It's chasing it. This is, oh, look, he's trying to bite me. There's two bass right here. All right, folks, I'm going to do some BFS fishing, but with medium light tackle. I got this Ace Hawk. This is a dual tip rod. It's an MLM, but I have the ML tip right now, C702. I got my Kyodom Bait Finesse Reel. Split up with 20 pound test line, and I got 20 pound leader. And I have this 360 search bait, the crankbait version. Look at that lip. Okay, this swim bait right here for, is from Storm. And they had this little thing at the end. I know a lot of people probably put like a, a split ring and then put like a, a treble hook on it. But Jimbo, instead of putting a treble hook, Jimbo put a blade on it. So now it's an underspin jerk bait type thing. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this thing wobbles because of the lip. It has flash at the bottom and it has a paddle tail. Happy fall fishing. Let's find a hungry fish and see if we land a few fish today. Do first cast. All right, not too bad. I'll probably put the brakes down just a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. Not too bad. Time to search for those hungry fall fish. I had a fish on. Interesting. These big allures could be the trick. Here we go. Got him. Oh yeah. Oh, 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 stuff's blowing up everywhere here. Here we go. That's a nice bass. Ha ha. Dave, this is a, a good one. Whoa, hey, blitz, blitz. Dro wow, look at this, guys. This one's humongous. It bit and choked this bait here, but I gotta put this fish back in quick. I'm not gonna weigh it. Welcome to fall. Fall fishing is crazy because one, moment there's no fish and then all of a sudden there's a blitz but yeah this underspin right here is underspin wobble head uh i don't even know what to call this but it's searching those bass out hungry bass let's go that's crazy man this blitz just came out of nowhere bait fish everywhere i was knocking baits and all of a sudden he just came out of nowhere I'm going back out here. I just got out of hit. These hits are non-stop, but it could be small fish or I could be just bumping into bait fish. But it's big. Lure right here. Look, I got another hit right there. There's a lot of fish here. Yeah, I keep getting taps. That's another tap right there. It's so interesting that I'm not hooking up on them. This lure is kind of big. The, the swim bait paddle tail, they're just biting the end. Ah! Got him! This have a clicker too. It's nice, real. Another one. Another freaking Mondo. There's open water bass in right here. They are chasing this shad that's in between um, the flat and deep water where they intersect. Two fish in a row. Mondo, another one. Look at this humongous fish. All right, dude, this is the fall magic here. Don't forget to put your underspin 
onto your setup right here. It's freaking magic. Oh my goodness. That's so many bites. Oh, another one! Oh my lord! Wake up! Oh, there's another one right there it's chasing it! It's like, oh my god, that flash right there. And, oh, this is, oh look, he's trying to bite me! There's two bass right here! And this is where the, the dual fluke, double zoom fluke will do damage. Bam! Another one! Look at that! Bass after bass! And he wasn't hooked that well. I'm gonna put him back down and let's just throw this guy right back in here because it's freaking magic right now. What the heck is going on? That's a fish right there. These small little dinky fish. I don't care. I don't care for you. Back into the open water. The shad right now are not in the shallows. They are in the deep. So we went in a little bit. I had a few small dinky bites. That smacked me again. Oh man, there's stuff here. I guess not all of them are big. They're just nipping a tail. But earlier, those few big bass, look, there's another bite right here. Back in the open right here. Or there could be just shad. I'm just gonna be just running into shad. No idea to be quite honest. Blitz, ahead, you see it? Shad's been pushed up right there. Yeah, I'm bumping this shad. I don't think they're fish, but that's a, that's a fish. Oh, blitz right in front of me. This is fall fun action right here. Jeez, jeez. All right, this, this is freaking sick. This is a mondo. I'm gonna keep waiting until I get Get that big, big, giant fish. Oh my lord, this is fun. Okay, this is the bomb. All right, this is the bomb, guys. All right, so the fall blitz is here. My, I gave my brother that lure so he can have some fun. Big fish, a big lure get big fish, right? So I'm trying something out. This is a Looks like a fluke, okay? It's a blade bait fluke body. Hoping that I can slay some fish here, but look, I had no idea what you caught. Uh, but the fish are out here, Dave. Unsnag that and I come back out. But yeah, this is a very flashy jig. I'm hoping that throwing this, we track some of the, the fish. Find out blitz. Oh, what the heck? There we go. We got some. We got some. We got some in. And I have a light. Oh, it's a big pickerel. That is what I don't want. Now on this, this lure that I just put on. Just talking about how we didn't want pickerel. Like I do like pickerel, don't, don't get me uh, wrong, but you know, I have limited lures to play around with. And uh, I think uh, sometimes days where I'm not prepped for them with the, you know, maybe some thicker line, it sucks. But right now he is fighting. Awesome. Awesome. He is here for the food too. He is here. Dave, look at that monster. Yeah, I need to retie after this one. He is running. I guess I'll weigh him too, because uh, the lipper gripper is basically that. And we'll get him back up. All right, boys and girls, let's see if we can get him. Please don't cut my line. Right. You guys hear this? <laughs> All right. 
Give me enough. Oh man. Oh man. Oh, there, there's my brother slaying. I gave him the magic lore and he's slaying right now. But this guy right here, he's slaying me. Okay. All right. Let's see if I can take this guy here. All right. Oh man, he bent the crap out of that right there. Yep, I got it. But we're gonna weigh this baddie right here and then we'll put him back in the water. All right. We have a slime dart at, at, what? Really? Um, 2.18 ish. All right, off you go. Put you back into the water. That was a good fight on a light rod, man. Super fun. That's your rod, by the way. The one that you bought wrong. That you supposed to buy a ultralight light tip, but you end up buying the medium light medium. I don't know. I just bought whatever you linked to. I didn't know I had to select. Well, there's stuff to select. And oh, here we go. Got one. So yeah, they're right here. This lure is gonna be awesome. It's gonna be its own video. He got smacked. It's not a big one, like the Mondo's earlier, but I'll still take it. All right, check that out. Actually, I can put it right here, just like that. Ow, 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 ow. All that just for one little screenshot. All right, off you go. Sounds as thumpy, but no cigar. Got thumpy harder than that, buddy. Oh, got another one. All right. Not too bad. Not too bad. Woo! Oh, yeah. All right, easy bud, easy bud. Oh yeah, look at that. Off you go, buddy. All right, folks, let's wrap up today's video. I gotta say this lure was pretty cool, pretty fun, but let me give you guys my honest opinion about this whole setup here. First and foremost, folks, I have fished this last season in this private lake area, right? And I'll, I'll be quite honest, I did not do well with this lure. I actually had so many bites. Yes, it does attract bites, but I actually feel the thump, no hook set. And when I do hook set, I actually dropped a lot of fish. I don't know if you guys actually experienced that before, but that was my experience with this lure. And then I was like, maybe I just need to put a treble hook here. And uh, I was like, wait a sec, why not, why not put an underspin? And I did. And today it was pretty crazy with those blitz. I was able to uh, isolate this lure among a ton of baits and the fish went for it like immediately. But I think one thing for sure is when you actually fish this, you see this lip here? This lip's supposed to make this lure wobble and there's actually rattles in this jig head. And with this underspin blade here, it actually doesn't wobble anymore. And earlier I put the, a loop knot and it helped a little bit more but it doesn't do that well. And uh, with a few bites, because the fish seems to like the tail, it pulled the lure back and it's forever in the back. After a few casts, you gotta you know, readjust it. And if you're fishing like this, it's definitely not gonna wobble and it's not gonna present itself well. So in the end of the day, do I recommend this lure? Totally not. I mean, it was a good idea today to throw it. I mean, it was on anyway and I caught a lot of fish. Would I have done better with something else? You bet. If you guys haven't watched some of my old fall fishing videos, you should check out the cards that's on the top right hand corner. 
because uh, I have linked a lot of uh, my fall fishing trips from last year and I did extremely well on this lake catching a lot of fish with my custom homemade lure that you guys could make yourself. And let me tell you guys right now, the key for fall fishing, in my opinion, especially this South Jersey area, vibration and flash. Vibration and flash will isolate your lure among a thousand bait fish and allow the fish to, hold, uh, to bite your lure and allow you to catch all those big gnarly fish. So if you guys want to see me throw some of those custom stuff or new custom stuff this season, leave me a comment below and I'll definitely do so. Anyway guys, I thank you guys for watching the Fish Don't Wait. Don't spend too much time deciding what lure you need to do. Just watch my videos and then you'll be on the know of what's the hot lure for fall. Thank you for watching guys. Peace out.